milk and dairy products are the most mucus forming uh, foods on the planet. I barely call them foods. I think that the Dairymen's Association and these people need to be uh, put in tri on trial for selling products that are causing cancers and causing tumors in people instead of selling healthy foods. There's no, no such thing as healthy milk once you cook it and there's no such thing as a healthy cow's milk for a human. Even little babies with raw cow's milk get a lot of colicky and mucus problems. These formulas that they make for babies, high fats and, and, and high proteins, this is, this is real bad for babies, particularly if they're any compromised in the gallbladder or liver. We had one, one poor little baby that because he threw up so much with these formulas because he couldn't deal with fats, they tied his stomach around his esophagus. This is the kind of insanity that's out there. And, and, and all you had to do, we changed that baby to fruits and this baby started doing better and better and better and better. Because that baby's not designed for a high fat, high protein diet. We're not herbivores. We don't gain a thousand pounds in two years. You know, you have to understand there's differences. Milk in, in, in uh, frugivores, humans, even in goats, omnivores, even in cows, are alkaline milks unless you cook them. And then you, you cook them, you make them very acidic. Chemistry starts bonding. So when they tell you you're going to get calcium out of pasteurized milk, they must be smoking something in the back room. Because in chemistry, that's impossible. You bonded that chemistry so tight, the average human can't digest that milk or break it apart for one very important reason. After age two, you lose the enzymes to digest it. I don't know if those of you that are older remember C. Everett Coop. C. Everett Coop was the United States Surgeon General, and they fired him when he made a statement that he said milk may be bad for kids, and they fired him one month later. He was telling the truth. After age two, you can't digest milk anymore. You're supposed to be weaned. Here, Dr. Morris, I have a question. My husband has been suffering a lot with his health this year. He has lots of mucus and spits a very thick white bugger saliva spit all day long. His throat gets itchy. He also has pain in his throat. It seems like the lymph nodes, I take that for lymph nodes in his neck are big. A nurse told him they were swollen, especially the one on his right side. She's right. He doesn't have health insurance, so he hasn't gotten all kinds of tests. Do you need a test for this one? Uh, but we, we have gone to doctors and they said it's okay. <laughs> One thing I have to add is that he used to consume a lot of milk. No kidding. <laughs> Don't forget that. He's just, he's just, he's, he's getting rid of the milk. That mucus is what milk caused in him and yeah, he's loaded with it. Uh, the fact that this, your husband's getting this mucus out, thank God. If it gets too acidic, it'll lock in there. Or too many antibiotics, it'll lock in there and that's what you don't want. All that mucus you see coming out, guess where it's coming from? That's his lymph system and his body's at least cleaning himself. Stop the milk and dairy products or you're going to have in and out the rest of your life. But you know, stuff generally just doesn't stay the same. I thought that was a funny one, actually. <laughs> Flattering 13. I'm telling you, I, I had to laugh at this one. He would consume about one to two gallons a week. So really, the limp system, you've got, he's got a lot of mucus to get out of it. You want to see it coming out his urine, out his stools, out his mouth, out his nose. Yep. Needs a good cleaning. This guy is, uh, is going to clean up good because he's already getting it. He's got so much his body's getting rid of. Get out of here. I like that. That's good. <laughs> what do you think we could do to help this situation? Uh, what do you think might be wrong with him? Nothing wrong with him. He's just saturated with mucus. He's drinking too much milk. You're not even supposed to drink milk after you're weaned. And this guy sucked it down like it was candy. All his life. Unfortunately, my friend, she's probably going to show you this, but you're full of it. You've got to get this out of you. These are tumors. This is masses. This is the stuff that all man's problems come from. Get this mucus out of you. You'll taste better, smell better, hear better, think better, and your body will move better. Get that out of you. Uh, he's been suffering from anxiety. That's the adrenals. And, of course, who controls the lymph system? The adrenals on top of the kidneys. Go forth, my fluttering 13, and conquer the mucus problem.
This was a question on even organic raw dairy, uh, kefir, uh, any of that. Uh, some countries are into the kefirs and stuff. They used to sell a lot of kefir, but you know, uh, none of that is fit after age two. You lose the enzymes, lactase, most people. Now, there are some Brits they claim that maintain the enzyme, but why? You know, we need to get our head out of the milk's butt. We got to get out of that idea of fermentation and milk and stuff like this and yogurts and stuff. We do that, and cultures do those things. I tell you what, get yourself cleaned out a little bit, and then just go have you some kefir. I'm going to show you your response of your body to it. You don't have to trust what I say about it, but spend some time away from all that. Spend about three months away from all that, and then go get yourself some kefir or some yogurt. And then uh, I won't have to tell you anything. You're going to experience that right off. But get away from organic milk, raw milk, all the forms of milk. Uh, Again, we're supposed to be weaned. We're homo sapiens. We should be drinking only homo, homo sapien milk. Uh, not, uh, uh, like I say, if anything, goats, if you're below two. But try to stay away from that. And the reason I'm saying that is that the lymph system becomes very inundated with these type of proteins creating excessive mucus. And boy, when you, you see what we're up against, it's a moving lymph. Moving lymph, let me tell you. You're up against the battle of all battles. And so when you understand what congests your lymph system, you want to run away from that stuff. So because you just have to clean it out again. I remember I was craving a malt one day and I was, you know, I was, you know, I'd craving it. I had malts growing up, you know, and nothing like a good chocolate malt or vanilla malt. I love that stuff, right? I hadn't had one in 20, 30 years and... I was craving it, and I, I, I craved it for a, a couple of weeks, and then I thought, ugh. Oh. So I went into the mall. We have a mall, a little mall down here, and there's a, an ice cream place. And I went in, and I said, do you make little baby malts for kids? And they said, well, yeah. And I said, I just want a little baby malt this big. He kind of looked at me strange, you know, and so he made me one. By the time I got out to my truck, I had a sore throat. I knew that I had done it. I knew how mucus forming it'd be, but it was good going down. So I got home and I started eating some apples and pretty soon <clears throat> I got a big wad of mucus out, spit it out, my sore throat went away. I created an acute problem by putting in my body proteins and food that my body had a direct immune response against, which is a mucus from my mucosa. And it actually made my throat sore because it congested my tissues, inflamed my tissues. Had I not known that, and I called up a medical doctor friend of mine and said, Hey man, I caught something while I walked in the mall and I needed an antibiotics, so I had to see my clients. I don't want them to see me sick, so, uh, you know, give me something. I caught something. I would then suppress the mucus that I put in there because that antibiotic would have suppressed my lymph system, my immune system. The sore throat would have went away, had nothing to do with bacteria whatsoever, suppressed my lymph system, and I went on, but I had another milkshake another day, and another one another day. I would move from creating an acute problem in my body to a subacute. That's a deeper stage of congestion. It changes your mucus. Whenever you have a cold and flu and you get yellow mucus out, that's subacute stage of mucus. Your chronic stages are going to be more your brown and green mucus. And then degenerative, you're going to see necrotic tissue and, and uh, black and, uh, and sometimes even gray tissue. So stay away from dairy products is all I can tell you.